Space is preparing something extraordinary for humanity, an event that is rarely observable from our corner of the universe. Stars like us follow their own paths, and sometimes their orbits intersect, creating phenomena that captivate with their beauty and grandeur. One such event is expected in the near future, and its brightness will outshine many other stellar occurrences. Don't miss the chance to witness this cosmic wonder. Subscribe, like, and stay with us to learn all the details and be among the first to witness this unique moment. Stars shining in the night sky lure us with their mystery and beauty. However, amid this cosmic splendor, real dramas sometimes unfold. One such phenomenon will be the nova eruption in the constellation Corona Borealis, located 3,000 light-years from Earth. This event will offer both amateur and professional astronomers a unique opportunity to witness a cosmic cataclysm. T. Coronae Borealis, also known as the Flaming Star, is a rare example of a recurrent nova. Its activity cycle repeats every 80 years. In its normal state, its brightness is plus 10 in magnitude, making it invisible to the naked eye. However, during an eruption, its brightness temporarily increases to plus 2, making it comparable to the North Star. For comparison, Sirius shines at a magnitude of negative 1.46, and the full moon is around negative 13. This glow will last about a week, after which the object will once again fade into darkness for decades. The peculiarity of this system is that a year before the eruption, it usually dims slightly, a kind of harbinger of the upcoming event. This is exactly what happened in March 2023, when astronomers observed a decrease in the brightness of TKRB. Now, we are waiting. The eruption could happen any day now. What secrets does the process of thermonuclear explosion in such a unique system hold? And what might it tell us about the fate of other stars? T. Coronae Borealis is actually a binary system, where two stars engage in a deadly dance with each other. One of these stars is a red giant that has gone through all the stages of its life and has become enormous after exhausting its hydrogen reserves. The second star is a white dwarf, the core of a star that has shed its outer layers, now a super-dense body ready for catastrophic events. An unusual and dangerous process is unfolding between these two stars. The white dwarf begins to siphon matter from its companion, like a cosmic predator hunting its prey. A flow of matter moves from the surface of the red giant to the white dwarf, forming a bright accretion disk around it. This process lasts for decades until a critical mass of material accumulates on the surface of the white dwarf. When this threshold is reached, a thermonuclear explosion occurs, a nova flash, accompanied by a tremendous release of energy and brilliant light. Modern technology not only allows us to observe this cosmic fireworks display, but also to deeply analyze the ongoing processes. At the moment of the flare, Major ground-based and space observatories, including the James Webb Space Telescope, will be tracking T. Coronae Borealis. The telescope is capable of peering through the clouds of ejected material and capturing the finest details of the system's evolution. The data gathered will help improve our understanding of not only nova explosions, but also the processes of star formation and the dynamics of close binary systems. This process has been reproduced in visual models and animations. In these, the red giant and white dwarf orbit around their common center of mass. The red giant is depicted as a large sphere in shades of red, orange and white, with the side facing the white dwarf being the brightest. The white dwarf is surrounded by the glowing white and yellow colors of the accretion disk. When the red giant passes behind the white dwarf, a dazzling flash occurs, filling the entire space. After the light fades, an expanding ball of ejected material, tinted pale orange, appears. The nebula then disperses, leaving behind only a small white spot, the white dwarf that survived the explosion. The expected flare will be the third recorded in the history of observations of T. Coronae Borealis. 
The first such event was registered in 1866 by the Irish astronomer John Birmingham, followed by another in 1946. Given the recurrence of these explosions, astronomers have long been closely monitoring the system, eagerly anticipating one of the brightest events in the near future's night sky. Will we manage to catch that very moment when a star, silent for a century, flares up in the darkness? Will we be among the few who witness the light of a distant catastrophe, with our own eyes, without a telescope? Don't think that in order to witness this cosmic event, telescopes or complex instruments are needed. It's much simpler than that. On a clear night, all you need to do is step outside, find the constellation of Corona Borealis. It's easily recognizable by its arc-like shape, resembling a crown, and direct your gaze in that direction. Right there, at any moment, a rare nova burst could happen. T. Coronae Borealis, which can even be seen with the naked eye. And here's what's most intriguing. No one knows exactly when it will flare up. It could happen today, tomorrow, or in a few months. Some scientists believe the burst will occur between spring and autumn of 2025, while others think it might not happen until 2026 or even later. All we have are indirect signs and analogies with events almost a century ago. But one thing is clear. The flare is inevitable, and we are literally on the brink of one of the rarest phenomena accessible to the casual observer. This event is not just a spectacular sight, it serves as a reminder of how vast and mysterious our cosmos is. Such moments give us a unique opportunity not only to marvel at the beauty of the night sky, but also to reflect on what place humans occupy in a universe full of wonders and unknown secrets. The period from March to August is the best time to watch T. Coronae Borealis. The constellation is visible in both hemispheres, especially in the northern one where it rises just after sunset and climbs higher each day. Want to make sure you don't miss such unique phenomena and stay updated on the most exciting events in the universe? Subscribe to the channel and stay tuned. There's much more thrilling stuff ahead.